Unit 9. Strategy. Track 9. As I was saying, we can't just carry on with business as usual. Mm -hmm. The main issue here is that we have an image problem. The research says it loud and clear. People think our stores and our products are old-fashioned. Yes, we've relied too heavily on our reputation for quality, value and service over the years, and that just isn't sexy anymore. Hang on. Those are our core values. It's what's made R&F what it is today. Absolutely. And I'm not suggesting at all that we lose those values. It's more a case of adding to them. I'm thinking of innovation. We need to move with the times. Show that we have new ideas. Yes, I like that. Mm. Our challenge is to meet the needs of the loyal older customer while anticipating trends in younger fashions and lifestyles. Women especially are shopping by attitude rather than age these days and are far more willing to experiment, for instance, by shopping online. I think advertising is key to our recovery plan. I'll admit we've made some disastrous decisions in the past that have probably added to our outdated image. Yes, and maybe we need to hire a new advertising agency for this one. Mm. Yes, Get good some idea. fresh mm. ideas. I really believe a good advertising campaign will go a long way to reviving our fortunes. Mm. Mm-hmm. That and innovation in our furnishings, food and clothing brands. Mm. Drop some of the old brands and introduce new lines. Get celebrities to advertise our new ranges. Mm. And, and, and let's communicate ideas through the campaign. Remind people what we stand for, that they can always trust our brand. R&F is the same, but better, you know? I think so. It's also important that the marketing strategy focuses on multiple key areas, including food, that accounts for 30% of our turnover, and women's wear and home furnishings. Mm. Good idea. OK. Since you guys have started, let's brainstorm some more ideas for our new marketing strategy.